All right. Welcome to Kicking It with Kenya. I know it's been a while. A lot has happened. Life is happening. Pieces are moving. If you're on my Instagram, then you would know. You would know. But I am back and I had to be back and talk about the slap her around the world. Now, Louis, you know this is real when you got, you know, I'm on here with no makeup on. <laughs> But I had to talk about this. Like I just, I just had to talk about this. And I think we both, we 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 just could not not film and talk about this. <laughs> I woke up the next morning. You know what's crazy? I don't even watch the Oscars. I mean, I really some don't people care. Do, some people don't. But I mean, I tune in sometimes, but I don't even watch the Oscars. But this is the most talked about Oscars in like such a long time. I think like since. Because you yeah, have something worth talking about that happened that spike ratings. Pretty much. Talk about. Yeah, we are. The slap her around the world with Will Smith and Chris Rock. Now, obviously, it's only been about 24 to 48 hours since this happened. So I'm noticing on the social media world, people are split on how to feel about this situation. Some people are in favor of Will. Some people are in favor of Chris and like, I guess the comedian argument in general. Lewis, where do you stand? I know we spoke about it briefly, but where exactly do you stand? You never really tell me definitive answers. <laughs> I'm, um, honestly speaking, I'm, this is gonna sound like a weird answer, but I'm on the side of neither and both at the same time. Makes like, sense. I get certain aspects of either argument for various reasons, and there's certain things about how the way it was handled that I disagree with. But uh, it's just it's 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 a lot deeper than um, than meets the eye, in my opinion. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that we don't know, a lot of stuff that is. Um, more than surface level. On the surface level, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of the way it was handled on Will's part on the surface level, because I'm very, I'm a very big proponent of respecting, respecting someone else's house, so to speak, or respecting an event. You know what I mean? Like anytime, like if I ever had if I ever had an event or a show or anything that I would ever do, if I if someone was there that I had a problem with or had a problem with me or something along those lines, it's not something that I'm going to necessarily bring up there at, to mess up someone's event. You know what I'm saying? I don't care where the event is or where we're at. Like if out of respect for your event, out of respect for your house, you know, we we gonna keep it professional to respect where we're at. As far as the reasoning for what or what we believe to be the reasoning as to why that Will decided to do what he did, as far as like if you're gonna say defending your wife or defending honoring your 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 wife, I don't have a problem with honoring your wife in any way or honoring your loved one. Again, but there's so many different ways <laughs> that we can go into like how this could have been handled or 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 what it really was about because I have mixed feelings on what it's really about. I'm not in their head, but I just, I truly do believe that, I don't believe that one G.I. Jane joke set him off. I believe it's a lot deeper than that. Man. I believe it could be a multitude of different things. I, I believe it, it could be something as, it could be something as, as like deep rooted as, this is a friend of mine and we've had conversations uh, behind the scenes, stemming from things you may have said about my wife at past award shows, and I asked you not to bring not to bring my wife into this again, and you opted to do it again, and it just it set me off, and I felt the need to check you on it. Or it could be something as small as you made a joke that I actually laughed at until I saw my wife didn't find it so funny, and I had to I had to do something to make myself look good in front of her. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be, <laughs> it's so many different things. It could, it's such a weird situation because of that. 
You know what I mean? Like as far as the way Chris Rock handled it from a professional standpoint, I feel like he handled it as good as anyone in his situation could have handled it from a personal standpoint. If that was me, I'd have knocked Will Smith right then and there on the spot. Like, um, as a grown man, ain't no grown you man. You see, he looked like he had his fist balled, but then he like put it in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and he wanted and, and again, to. Again, like I'm sorry, but my initial reaction to anybody, like I have a very what I would like to call a very long fuse when it comes to, you know words or anything like that like listen man if you're making fun of me if you're saying what you want to say that's one thing but as long as you don't put your hands on me there will be no physical altercation but if you're going to come up to me and first of all i'm gonna say it like this like if this is something that was not part of the script like it was not part of the script for you to come up on stage while i'm handing out an award and i just said something about your wife that visibly your wife did not like because you saw her, you saw Jada Pinkett's face. She did not like that. And I'm sure Chris himself knew that because Chris had a reaction like, yo, that was a, that was an easy one. Like, like, oh, uh, it's no big deal. And then I see Will walking up to me. My defensive antennas is already going to, I'm not going to be standing with my hands tied behind, my hands behind my back. My defensive antennas is going to be up like, like, what are you walking on me for, bro? You know what I mean? But I, I don't think Will expected, I mean, I don't think Chris expected Will to Not the Oscars. You know, like maybe he was expecting him to do some like headlock noogie or some like playful shit. But on the other hand, it's just like my antennas would be up because I'm like, well, why are you, why are you approaching me like this? It's like, and then once you smack me, I'm sorry, it's, it's about the security's about to get involved because you're not going to smack me. It's going to still away. be going down. No, no, it's it's not. He gonna be going down. Like if you smack me next to spitting on me, that's the most that's like the open most... hand palm smack. Exactly, because to me, subconsciously, that means I you choose... think I'm a bit. Uh, well, can't say it on YouTube, but it means you think I'm an itch with the B in the front. And it also means like, like, all right, if you try to sucker punch someone. I feel like there's a little bit of you that looks at this person as a threat to where it's like you got to get your best blow off like first and maybe you'll drop him. A slap ain't gonna knock me out. That's just some disrespectful taunting stuff to me. And like I said, next to spitting on me, that's that's the most disrespectful thing that you could do in terms of like initiating some type of physical altercation from me. So if you smack me, you're not gonna smack me and then do the cool walk off stage. And like you Mickey Barnes or something like that, the hell? That's not gonna happen, but again, I'm not Chris Rock. We're two different people. We opt to do things differently. But you know, to 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 kind of bring that point home, um, I don't. I want. I would like to. I feel like there's more than just what we've seen, and I feel like it's deeper than a GI Jane joke. I don't feel like that because again, Will's reaction to the joke initially was to laugh. He was laughing. Yeah, he was laughing at and, it. As far as like other jokes, like there was joking on, I, I believe, um, what's the face? Um, Regina, Re, Regina Hall had made a little oh. joke about them earlier. Now, granted, they made a joke about their marriage situation, which they put out there in the public. And we, you know what I'm saying? So, so I, I feel like it's fair game. And that's why I feel like the, with the, um, with Jada's situation, you know, which, or, or her having a health situation and will, and will uh, feel in the need to um, pr protect or uh, honor his or defend his wife in the way he chose to do it. I feel like that. I feel like there was a little bit of a little bit of like, I know you personally, and you crossed the line when he was yelling. Like when he when he sat back and he yelled, "Yo, keep my wife's name out your mouth." I feel like there was a little bit of rage in his tone that I feel like would only be there. If me and you have had conversations previous, uh, previous, uh, previously to this incident, I feel like because again, Chris Rock. I mean, Chris Rock was on the Fresh Prince for crying out loud. So he I'm, was. I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have some sort of relationship or friendship or kinship with each other, and I'm sure they have had conversations. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But I'm just I'm just assuming here, stab in the dark. I feel like if they had if they had conversations about this, 
it just strikes me as like, yo, bro, like I told you not to go there and you felt the and you felt the need or you chose to go there on live TV thinking that I wouldn't do anything about it. Because even Chris Rock's reaction was kind of like uh, it had a little hint of, I know I said I wouldn't, but come on, bro. It's just a joke. Like that was a light one. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you I wouldn't go too heavy. It's just a light jab. And if that's the case, I understand Will's rage in that. But I instance. also feel like, oh, go ahead. I don't want to cut you off. No, no, no. I was going to say, I, if that's the case, I understand Will's rage in that instance of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you. It's not like you don't know me. You don't know my situation. You don't know my wife. It could have a little bit of like, my wife don't even fuck with you like that. Because you know, you know, you know, especially in our community, you have some family members or friends where it's like, you could joke with me, but you can't joke with me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like certain people where it's like, you can get away with it. He can't get away with it. And I feel like if if that's the case, I understand Will's rage. I just, I personally don't, I wouldn't have handled it that same way. I would have, I could have checked you after the event. I could have checked you backstage when we went to commercial, like, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't, I, I, I wouldn't have handled it that way. But again, I'm not in Will Smith's body. Will Smith might have, it might have been also a buildup of, for the last what year, maybe year, like yeah, I was gonna years. get, I was literally gonna get into that part too about, mm -hmm. cause like what you're saying is you're looking at it from a standpoint of man to man. You're you know you're we're just throwing it out there. We don't know these people. You're thinking like there might have been a conversation a little bit more, and like Chris had to take that last jab, and maybe the reason why he lashed out on Chris so much versus other people is cause bro, you know me. You know that's what we're assuming. But with me, I looked at that like that to me was just a demonstration of a man that's just becoming unhinged because for like for years, Will Smith prided himself. I remember there was a clip one time I saw on Instagram or wasn't on Facebook, maybe YouTube, where Jada was doing like a video, like, you know, a little video. And then she's like, right, babe. And Will was in his phone and he looked and he's just like, I'm in my house. I'm in my house. Like, you don't understand. And like, she's just like, it's just a video. It's like, I, I'm obviously paraphrasing, but she's like, it's just a video. And he's like, my image, like you cannot just put me on camera and not ask me, like, this is my house. Like, you know, he just like, this is my house. And my image means a lot to me. And I felt like that was like, it was a small clip. It was really small. And I felt like in that, you could tell like certain things was getting to him. Now, once again, all speculation for all we know, he sleeps like a baby. But to me, it just looked like things was getting to him then. And I think that was like a few years back. I think like maybe two, three years back or whatever. But to me, because we know Will used to pride himself on no scandal, everything was pretty much rumors. His family was looked at as black love personified, especially him and Jada. You know, everything was so perfect. And then to have that image now tainted in a way where he has yet to come back from it. Like the meme heard around the world with his red eyes, the August jokes. Oh yeah, if he get this mad in March, I wonder how he feel in August. The fact that even if you were aware your wife had this man, even if you were aware that your wife had this man, the fact that everybody knows about it now, it's like everybody knows Jada was with this young dude, you know, and it's it kind of just made you the beta in your relationship, you know what I'm saying? So to me, when I saw him going up on that stage and and smacking somebody with an open palm and then sitting down, that's not the will I know. The will I am used to is funny corny usually he's the like the like one of the most unproblematic black men in hollywood you know that didn't have that that cd pass he was an unproblematic black man the fact that you allowed yourself to go into this box it just people were like oh he's defending well he's defending jada i mean he's defending jada i don't think that had anything to do with jada i think all in all a lot of this had a lot to do with him and him and him not liking being a butt of jokes 
And then of all nights, the night that I could possibly win an Oscar <laughs> is another joke. Like he wasn't just at an award show not too long ago where the um, girl, the lady was on some like no more entanglements. It's like, is this really his life now? Every time he comes to an award show, there's another joke, there's another jab, there's another poke, even tonight. I, I, Cause he laughed at first. That's why I'm like, this couldn't have been cause he said that joke about Jada. He laughed at first, but then when Jada gave him that look, it kind of, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I feel like that look triggered in him. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like Jada runs that relationship <laughs> or makes him feel like he's not enough. My assumption, not Satan, for all I know, these people were happy, but I just feel like hearing her red table talks, all of these things, like, it kind of gives off Will wasn't her first choice, you know? And it gives off she wasn't really happy, you know? And, you know, it gives off they always need work. We always need work. And maybe between him having, being the butt of all the jokes, you're still not happy. Even though I let you go around and sleep with whoever and people know about it, you looking at me sad, I can't laugh. This man making a joke. Da -da 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 -da. You know what? <laughs> I don't know, he just looked unhinged to me. He didn't seem like somebody who usually has it together, but also he's an actor. But I just feel like he didn't look like somebody who usually is the will that sits in interviews and be like, I was aware. No, 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 I, I have it under control. What you mean? I knew, I knew, I knew. It just looked like, I can't take this <laughs> anymore. I don't think it had nothing to do with defending Jada. Cause like I said, his initial reaction was to laugh. So, he laughed, he looked at her and said, oh crap, oh shit. <laughs> she gonna compare me to Pac. <laughs> See, okay, I, I, I could totally agree with what you just said. But um, as far as the defending Jado, the defending your wife in general part, sometimes you may have a situation, right? Where you could be out. Let's say you're out with your significant other. You're, mm -hmm. and, 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 and someone says something that offends your girlfriend or that, you know, upsets your girlfriend, you yourself may look at that and whatever that person said or did, you may feel like, babe, it's just, it's, it's just a joke. Like it's not that serious, but your girlfriend may have taken it in a way that was way harder. And you as a man have two choices in that instance. You can stand up for your girlfriend in that moment because she was bothered by it, even though you yourself didn't feel it was that big of a deal. Or you can choose to like, babe, just let it go. It's not that serious. And there's been instances where this has happened to some people, myself included, where now for the rest of that night, that's all that's on your girl's mind. My man yeah. did not defend me in the situation that I felt defenseless in. Now, right. when we go I got to go home with my wife. I got to go home with you. Now, when we go home, this is still going to be an issue that we're dealing with. When we get home, when we're like about to go to sleep, and then it's, now I'm, I'm still dealing with this because I didn't do anything in that moment. You know what I'm saying? And you feel a way, or you feel like I didn't honor you or I disrespect you because I didn't do anything. And now me and you have had, me and you have issues. Now, if you take that type of mentality and add that on to a man who has been publicly joked or publicly mean and publicly made fun of for the last few years now, all due to the fact that his girl put out there that they have these issues, that his girl put out there that, you know, she, 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 she's felt she didn't know what love was or she felt this or she needed to get this from somewhere else and this same man has literally said, yeah, I was jealous of her relationship with Tupac. Yeah, I was jealous of this. It's a lot of emotions in there that could trigger him in that moment to say, I have to do something or else this could get even worse. And that could trigger you to go against someone who you may have a personal relationship with because I honestly, I honestly think that the fact that he knows Chris Rock has something to do with it because I'm not I don't I don't see Will doing that. I'm not even gonna so say nobody oh, that he's not familiar with. But yeah, if you don't like let's say if it was like um 
Like, I mean, it's out there on Front Street. If it was like a Jim Carrey or an Adam Sandler, someone along those lines that made that joke that he may not have a personal relationship with, I don't see him doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but because he knows Chris Rock, I feel like there may be a level of comfort there to to go and do this and do this to someone that you may know well enough to know he's not really going to do anything back to you, especially on live TV. You don't know so, that. And that makes me like, it, it's crazy to me that if that is what, you, like once again, speculation, we don't know how close they were. But at the same time, it's like for you to think that you have that big of a machismo that you could run up on anybody and slap them, whether you know them or not, and you're that comfortable with walking off, is just so disrespectful in itself. Like nobody deserved that over words. Like nobody deserved that just because I made a quick joke. And to preference what you said about, um, about, about, about what you said about the whole, if you're with your man and you know, and you, and you, and somebody says something to your girl and the man might shrug it off, right? That's what you would call like, um, they're not aligned, right? Now, I feel like also, once again, it makes me think that this wasn't solely about defending Jada. Imagine the snapshot it would have been had Chris Rock made that joke and instantly Will is laughing, but Jada's like this. And that was just a freeze frame. And he didn't slap or didn't do nothing. Let's just say he didn't look at her. Let's just say there was a world where he didn't know what's to look and he just went about his night. You think he could really handle any more jokes? <laughs> I, I just feel like when Will saw that look, he knew like either one or two things probably went through his mind. Shit, I wish he laughed too. <laughs> Dang, this is gonna be on a press tomorrow. We have enough joke. What can I do right now? Like, you know, it, it, let me do, like, you know, that once again, I just feel like all of this stuff was a, a unhinged, on like ra irrational way of thinking. An irrational way of thinking just to, you know, try to change the narrative that, believe it or not, I really don't think Will can handle all of this, these jokes that's been happening. I don't care what nobody say. Um, I don't know the man. Once again, I could be wrong. I keep saying that, but I just feel like somebody who's been a perfect image person for all of their life. And then next to, you know, the last two, three years has just been people feeling sorry for you or people knowing about your marital affairs. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just don't think mentally he can handle that. I mean, the man been in the game since he was what, 18 and never yeah, had it for a little while. Yeah, and never had nothing negative about him. He was the man who didn't curse in his raps, didn't believe in violence, didn't believe in drugs, all of this stuff. Now all of a sudden you're slapping people at the Oscars? Mm -hmm. The yearbook, you to me, are, is, you're becoming a tad bit unraveled. You know. And see, if that's the case, <laughs> which I'm not saying you could be wrong about that, but if that's the case, that goes back to what he said when he um, accepted his Oscar. He literally said something along the lines of, you know, we're in this position, so we're just supposed to take all of this and take all of that. But at the end of the day, Will Smith, just like you and me, he's human. Like, mm -hmm. there's only so much a human being can take before something does happen. And it's, it just so happens that, you know, like, especially like in our community, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'll have a situation where, you may get into it with your friends or your family. You may get into the point, you may get into it with, to the point that you're shoving, you're pushing, you're slapping, you're punching. And then later on that day, or maybe the next day, you're like, yo, bro, my bad. And, and then you piece up and you move on. That happens. That happens with everyone. But you're like, talking about what you're saying happens. Yes, it does happen. Mm -hmm. But we don't have a thousand cameras on us. Do you no, think, I, you I, think I, Chris Rock is going to hear that this, yo, bro, my bad, I slapped you at the... Apparently they did, because apparently they made up after this. Apparently they, they, they beat this up. But but I, I get it. Like, uh, again, that's what I'm saying. Like, me, myself, would I have necessarily handled it that way? No. But I can't look at a man 
that I can't look at I can't look at Will Smith and say I know anything close to what he's dealing with mentally because I don't. So who's to know how I would have handled that if that happened to me? Sometimes you have a bad day. Sometimes you may go to work and you and and your day just been shit all day, and then someone just says something to you and it just sets you off. And they're looking at you like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you unhinged? Are you <laughs> are you unhinged?" Yeah, but you don't know what I've been going through all of this time. All you see is the outburst. All you remember is the outburst. You don't know all the buildup that went into that. And sometimes, guess what? Will Smith may want to be the, the picture of perfection. He's not perfect. No human being is. I'm surprised people, if people don't know that, surprise. No one is perfect. So him having an outburst and him having a, a, a misstep or a moment of just reacting off of, off of pure emotion to me is it's more surprising because of who it is than it is that it happened because you look at it and you look at someone like Will Smith because you don't expect someone like him to do that you expect moments of outburst from certain people to where if, if it would have been them you may look at it like well it wouldn't be as big of a deal I mean it would still be a popular thing but it wouldn't be it's, I feel like it's more of a thing because of Will. No one would have expected Will Smith to do that because of how we perceive Will Smith and how, like, let's be real, a lot of people perceive Will Smith as someone who you say is very clean, very picture of perfection. A lot of people perceive him as corny and, and just uh, like, like someone that's not going to really be about that rah rah tightness. But you, you know, know what? what Nobody like, wants him to be that way because even when I watch I'm, some other. Even when I watch some other men, like, believe it or not, him not being that way has a lot of people thinking he's on a different level of intellectual thinking. Like, obviously, Will Smith is more evolved than us. The fact that people could say that, yeah, maybe we didn't expect you to go hauling ass and smacking friends, but it's kind of like it cheapened you in a way. That's not something we ever thought. Like, we, in a weird way, yes, we know, like, you know what you're saying to your point, Will is human. But... It's kind of like we have not will to a pedestal, but we kind of thought that he was more evolved in a manner because the way he speaks about his situations at home and Jada, they make it seem like they talk about everything, nothing bothers us, da -da 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 -da. you know, the gibber gabber. And it looks like y'all develop at least a perfect level of communication. Nobody's saying that y'all are perfect as a relationship, but as far as y'all truths with one each other, each other go, we revered y'all and adjusted our lens to look at y'all as per perfect communication. And then it's just for you to now go slapping people, it's like, bro, that means you're not talking to somebody. Now it makes me feel like all that shit was a lie. <laughs> what you just said, what you just said, that may be true. What you just said, how people perceive him and how, but that's not Will. That 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 that's the perception of that that we have in our heads of something. Yeah, it is. That, that's the picture we paint to ourselves about how someone else we don't know personally is. That's yeah. our fault for having those expectations of someone. But is it really our fault to it? Like, all right, yes, because Nicki Minaj put a little bit something up there like that too, because somebody made a comment about her in the hood with Fabia. Oh, whatever. And they're like, oh, we thought you would have been. It's a difference in me thinking this, but I'm also going off what you say. I mean, unless this is your publicist writing your speeches, I definitely watch Red Table Talk all the time. And I have, and I, and I am a fan of Will. This is not, this is not me saying I'm not a fan of the brother. I'm a fan of him. And I always watch his documentaries and I watch his interviews and I watch, and I'm hearing what you say. Now, if that's a lie. You said these words, bro, not me. You the one who said nothing bothers you and all of this stuff and that y'all got the perfect communication, y'all best friends, and blah, 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 blah. So it's like for you to slap somebody, if you are unhinged, that means there's a disconnect here. It's either you're this enlightened brother who knows how to speak and knows how to articulate his problems and knows how to communicate to those around him when he is stressed, or you not really talking to nobody, bro. Like, I don't, I, I'm, it just doesn't make sense because of the placement, the or, placement. Or, or okay. he's a human and every human being has, has a, a day, period. Will Smith, I'm a fan of him too. I like his movies. I'm like, I, The Fresh Prince is one of my favorite shows, but Here's something people tend to forget. He's an actor. By definition, he gets paid to pretend to be someone else for a living. That's what he does. So do I take everything he or anybody that I don't know says at face value? No, I don't. 
Because a lot of times what you're doing is you're painting an image of something that you want to be perceived as not necessarily who you really are. And it's your personal choice if you don't want to put who you really are out there. That's your business. What you put out there is what you want people to know. Now, the problem is when you try to be Mr. Perfect and try to be all clean, 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 when something does come to your doorstep and you handle it like this, that's when it's going to tear all that down because a lot of people are going to look at you the way you just described. So For speak me personally, do I look at him like that? No, I look at him like a human being that had an outburst that I've seen many other human beings personally, professionally in Hollywood have. It's just that because it's Will Smith, someone with a squeaky clean record, it's like if someone who's never committed a crime before commits a crime, as opposed to someone who has a rap sheet committing a crime. That doesn't mean that, oh, this person's never committed a crime before. I'm so shocked that they, any human being is capable of that. Any human being is capable of like I like to, I like to say that I have a similar. Um, the way people look at me is how nice or how kind or how non mad I tend to be. But that doesn't mean that I'm, I, 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 I can't be mad or I've never gotten to those points. You may not have seen that about me, but that doesn't mean I can't get there or I haven't gotten there. And when I do get there, it's like, oh shit, I didn't see this part of you. Yeah, because everyone has a breaking point. Again, going back to the original conversation, do I think he handled it the best way? No, I don't. I still I still do look at it from the standpoint of Chris Rock is a comedian. He tells jokes. No matter how unfunny the joke was in terms of like how I looked at it, it's just words and they've been cutting ass on the Oscars all the, all the time. Show. The show started off with three women literally cutting ass on the crowd. And Will Smith was included in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yes, on one hand, you should be able to take a joke. It's just a joke. On another hand, exactly. But on another hand, here's why I'm uh, here's why I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it like this. You look at someone like Charlemagne the God, right? Someone like him who literally every day on the radio would make a living by talking about other people. It's just words. But now he's even said this himself. You have the right to say what you want to say. That's a fact. And same thing with the comedians. Dave Chappelle talking about a certain community. Chris Rock talking about certain people. It's your right to say whatever you say. But you can't control how people react to what you say. And the bottom line is, there may be some people that, you know, when people say it's just words and words don't hurt, well, there's another way you can look at it and words do hurt. Words do leave those emotional scars that you can't see. So if somebody is so hurt by your words that they choose to punch you in the face, right or wrong, that's their personal reaction to what you said. If I am getting made fun of for something about me that I'm very um, insecure about, you know, I'm supposed to just sit here, ha, 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 yeah, you got It's me. not ha, about ha, the ha, 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 but also like you pointed out earlier in the conversation, you know, like, oh, Chris Rock in the past things he said before about Jada. And we all know where that stemmed from is because she was trying to boycott the Oscars the years he was hosting. So it was like, bruh, <laughs> like, like, like what he said, the most famous joke. It's like, you coming to the Oscars is like me trying to get into Rihanna's panties. We both weren't invited. Like, you know, we weren't invited. That's it. And it's, and it's like, you, you, you made this whole big fuss, Jada, made this whole big fuss about, and which was a good, oh, I get your cause. Let me not take away from it. I understood about Oscars so white and all of that stuff, but you made a real big stink about it during the year he was supposed to be hosting. And this was what, his first year hosting the Oscars? And when you host the Oscars, how many black people hosted the Oscars in the past? Shoot, not many. So it's like, this is his moment. He's hosting the Oscars and you trying to get a whole boycott all because at the time your husband didn't get nominated. What was it for when he was playing that NFL doctor? Concussion. Concussion. So you raised a whole big, like not stink about it because I'm not going to act like the movement wasn't what you was trying to do. It was for a good cause. But at the same time, it was the same year he hosted of course, when people heard Chris Rock was going to come out, you do know that people did say, I wonder what he going to say about Jada. Because, like, you know, the history. He's on stage. You're in the front. Miss Boycott Oscars, you're sitting pretty because your man is nominated. 
Uh, like, come on. Not saying that the words, like, once again, oh, you know, he shouldn't. Have. There was history there. There was history there. It's the Oscars. The last time we was in this conversation, you was boycotting the year I was um, hosting. So it makes sense that I had to get one off. And I feel like because he knew he had to get one off to Jada, I think he made the most PG rated joke he can make about her just so people could be, you know, so that could be done. You know, the buzz could be done. Oh, he made that joke. It's like, Will, you knowing all of this and knowing the history, also knowing how the media works and the job he had to do, you mean to tell him you couldn't let that joke? He said, G.I. Jane. How many times people haven't said that because somebody cut their hair? I think that was the most, of all the things Chris could have said, and we know how vulgar he could be, of all the things he could have said, to get that one joke off just to be like, we addressed it publicly about the comments or you trying to boycott and all the things, yeah, G.I. Jane, right? It's like, come on. I mean, I get what you're saying about people's reactions to things, but they, like, coupled with the history, I don't know. I lean more towards Chris in this okay, matter. Now, now, Pete, now, Pete, you just said coupled with the history. Now, again, this is just speculation, just throwing this theory out there. Let's say after that 2016 jokes that you made, let's say if I'm Will Smith or if I'm Jada Pinkett Smith, like let's say if if I'm if I'm talking to you man to man, post that, and I'm asking you to lay off, and then you come out this year when you see us both there, and you choose to make a comment that you didn't need to make. Honestly, you're fucking present. You're not hosting. You're presenting. Present the damn award. You're presenting an award no one really gave a shit about. Present the damn award. Oh, don't do and that. Keep it <laughs> What's love win? What, 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 what award was he presenting? I can't remember. Exactly. So, as I was saying, like you're presenting an award and you opted to throw a little shot at someone who, Jada strikes me as someone who could possibly hold a grudge. So let's say Jada don't even like your ass like that to begin with. And you opted to throw a shot that she didn't appreciate, that wasn't necessarily, un that wasn't needed. And I had spoken to you off screen about this before. That's disrespect to me as a man because I asked you point blank not to go there and you went there. Now for some But people, where did he go? That's what I'm saying. With where? The G it's just a G.I. Jane Joe. But it's, it and, don't and matter. I, it's, and I can and I can understand, like I said, I'm not knocking the bro conversation, but let's not act like Hollywood isn't different. I heard you, bro. But at the same time, people do expect a little bit of, like you know, who remembers the history and knows I'm coming on stage. I don't think no one expected that. Well, not Let expected, but it's just kind of like the throw a joke out there is not really no. See, that's the point. If if the words that he said, again, this is Will Smith's own words, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. There's millions of people for you to make comments on, bro. Why you gotta go here? Because you have a hot topic, bro. Like it's it it is. No, 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 they're, they're, not, they're not the hot topic. They were, they are the hot topic. Like, come on, they just was talking about entanglements at the last award show they went to. They're the hot topic, bro. No, they're not. No, they're not the hot topic. Again, there's plenty of other people for you to cut ass on. What are you going to do, cut ass on Salma Hayek? Huh? He going to cut ass on Salma Hayek? He going to talk cut about the Catholic? Listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. My, my point is, you're not hosting, bro. Present your fucking award and keep it moving. This show goes on too long anyway. But we'll From laugh. That laugh. That's the From thing that, that we want. He laughed. He laughed. The initial reaction that. was to laugh. I'm, I'm just throwing this theory out there from that perspective. Now, from the other perspective, from a Chris Rock standpoint, I feel like the best way for that joke to have gone over and for people not to really talk about it is for Will of not to done or say anything because if it would have just been the laugh, because he did laugh, and let's say Jada did like a whatever smirk, and then you kept it moving and presented the award, by the end of the night, no one would have remembered that shit anyway. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, everyone is going to remember and talk about the slap, even beyond you winning your first Oscar, something you've been chasing. And that's the thing that that's the thing that pisses me off, because that's what we should be talking about. You have never gotten an Oscar until tonight. And because you sat there and hauled ass 
all because of whatever unhinged you are dealing with, whatever mental, because like once again, I'm sorry. I'm a, I do not believe that was all about defending Jada. I just don't believe it. That's just my theory. I just don't believe all of that was about defending his wife. And the only reason why I don't believe it is because your initial reaction, bro, was to laugh. Because you thought the shit was funny and you did not think about her. And when your initial, I'm sorry, I, I peep initial reaction. All of this speculation about, oh, a man defending his wife, if he really felt some type of way, he would have gave that look the minute he said that joke. His ass said, ha, 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 looked at her and realized, oh, shit. Once again, maybe this was the, maybe that look was the trigger, not the joke. I think that look was the trigger because once again, I'm a shit husband. Or once again, the Snapchat, once again, the jokes, that is just the cross I'm going to die on. I don't believe that was all about Jay. I don't. No, and, and, and honestly speaking, I could say that I, I agree with that standpoint because I watched the scene and I initially saw that as well. Some people have said maybe it was a ha 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 fake laugh. But you wouldn't have done that if you really was no. offended. You're offended it's to the point of slapping somebody. If you were really offended, keep my wife name out your fuck. All of that was an act to me. I'm sorry. I think all of that was so she wouldn't argue with him at home. I think no, no, I, I think he just I can I can 100 percent agree with that. I can 100 percent agree with that because again, because of the way the initial thing went down. So if it would have went down, like let's say that joke, will Chris Rock said that joke. And when he paused and he said that was a light one and the camera cut to them, that's when you seen Will Smith saying, yo, keep my wife's name out your, out your mouth. Like, let's say the slap didn't happen. Let's say after he said that joke, the camera painted to them and you saw Will Smith mouthing, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And that was and that was the incident. To me, that would have been something to where I feel like, OK, he was he was. He was reacting like that because he was offended as well. His initial, like you said, his initial reaction was to laugh, and then he went on stage. So, again, it it just goes back to my point of you may be weighing in your head if I don't do anything about this. It's so many things could go wrong, mm -hmm. and I think that's why he made that reaction. I don't believe that it. I got because I be on you know I'm on Facebook and I talk about it with people and of course people tend to think I side with dudes that's not the case I'm just looking at it holistically if I'm with my man and he sits there and laughs first and punches later I'm like you laughed you only did that because I looked your initial reaction wasn't to think that it was disrespect you thought that shit was funny but you looked at me and noticed I wasn't laughing and that's just what it was and to me that's fake. That's fake to me. If I was, oh, yeah, you know, a lot of you guys are not used to husbands defending their women. A lot of y'all don't look at body language because he wasn't offended. <laughs> he wasn't offended at first. So let's get real. He's, he, he, he got there because he was scared of whatever, whether it be media or Jada. That's it. And once again, to me, everybody's like, that's what a man do. I don't care. That's what a beta does. That's, you, that's not alpha to me. Alpha, even though those terms got debunked, but still, that's some beta male shit. You just scared because you're afraid that I'm gonna say something or your image. And it's like once again to go up there and slap somebody like that because they're doing a job and they're doing a joke that was pretty light in comparison of all of the jokes I heard Chris Rock say. It wasn't that serious, and it's like of all people you choose during the most public event of your life and the most important night of your life, you sit there and you do this to another black man. As if we ain't got enough judgment already. It's like that, like, once again, Will, where were you going with this? Because you know now there's speculation that people believe it was fake. But even if it was fake, what was this supposed to do? Are you, are you going to start playing villain roles now? Uh, I know Chris Rock is on a comedy tour. But either way, like, I don't see how this benefits Chris. Because now he's always going to be the guy Will slaps. And that kind of gives you, like, at least in our community, you kind of got itched with the B in front and then with Will it's kind of just like they're talking about taking away your Oscar was this worth it that's why I don't know how I don't know why would somebody want to fake this you know so I don't know do you believe this is fake no and and I don't I don't believe this is I don't believe this fake because of a few reasons one because when you see when you when if you if you saw it if you saw it when it happened 
it's, I believe it was just in the US, but they cut the audio feed. So you couldn't hear what Will Smith was yelling. You just see his mouth moving. And usually when a live TV show does that, it's because something's happening that, that wasn't supposed to happen. And two, I see people say, well, where was the security? Where was the this? I, again, this goes back to my original nobody's statement. Thinking, nobody's thinking, it's not the source of awards. No, 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 but here's what I'm saying. Like, and this is any award show. Because this isn't the first time someone randomly walked up on someone's award show. Sometimes it's the MTV Awards. We've seen plenty of people that don't win nothing that walk up when someone else wins something. But I don't, I don't believe, like, even in security, the people running the event, I don't believe they're like, oh, shit, your security down there, Will Smith's going to attack Chris Rock. You know, they thought, oh, this would be a cool little improv playful moment. Then when he did it, it was just so fast that when he, and he walked off, it was just like a well, you're not gonna send security up to rush Will Smith. Now he already left. Chris Rock <laughs> standing there like, not gonna send security to rush Will Smith. <laughs> yeah. Chris Rock standing there like, yo, like he just like trying to register the fact that he just got hit. And then after he just he he had like an awkward pause, like, yo, bro, it was just a joke. Like, so to me, I don't feel like the way it was executed made it seem fake. And also the reason behind. Now, granted, it did spike the ratings because when that happened, it was trending. And obviously, you're going to have people that weren't watching or didn't even know the damn Oscars was on turning to it to, or, or looking, searching for that clip and turning to see what happened. And then maybe when they turned it on, they're going to see, OK, maybe someone will show the replay. Oh, Will Smith, is he going to win this award now? They can't give him this award. So you, it, get, it, get, it did bring interest. But I don't feel like it brought the type of attention that if one. I'm running, if I'm running the Academy Awards or any award show for that matter, I'm gonna stage this because yeah, this will get people. Because no one's talking about your show; they're talking about the incident. For one, for two, that I don't really feel like that's gonna help you in the future for ratings. I mean, you may have people that might tune in to maybe see an incident like that again, but that's not really anything that benefits you. And for three, honestly speaking. I don't feel like it benefits any of the other parties involved. It doesn't no. make Will Smith look great to a lot of his fans or a lot of people that maybe used to be fans of him. And it don't make Chris Rock look great. You just got slapped and didn't do anything. So it Nothing. doesn't really make anyone look great. So I don't understand why Chris Rock would agree to that, why it would be staged. It, to me, was just an incident that happened on a live show that obviously when any instance happens on anything that's a live show, it's going to bring attention, it's going to bring ratings in some aspects, and it's going to bring, it could possibly bring more exposure to what you have going on post that. It's sad to say, it's like a rapper getting shot and their record sales skyrocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, or something, a fight breaking out, and it, that's what people are gonna talk about. But these things happen. But because it happened at the Oscars, and because people hold the Oscars in such high regard above any other award show, and it's like, oh, yeah, you expect this to happen at this award BET show. Awards. And that's another yeah. thing. You expect this to happen at the oh, all the Black shows, right? And of course, there's two prominent Black men who are out there looking like, and it's great, Will, you're out there looking like a violent, this was not your character. You were dang near, I mean, before the Cosby, allegations you were like a black Cosby you were the family man you were the perfect guy and I get to being a human but nobody like you slapping somebody and it's another black male at that like you open palms slap another black man on stage I, like that man got kids that man has a wife wait Chris Rock still married I have no idea Okay, maybe he's not. But I'm just saying, that man, that man's a man. And he has family, he has friends that he now has to go back to. You don't, like, not saying you gotta care, but it's like, bro, like, we, it's very rare we are here. It's very rare you're nominated. I'm on the stage presenting. I was once a host. You're gonna sit there and quest love one, Samuel L. Jackson won an award off the stage. This was gonna have been a good night. And you go and slap somebody because you're having a, male ego issue over a GI of all the jokes that could have set you off, bro. This was not the one. This was just not the one. And it's like, this is what you do. I just feel like to me that 
you just ruined the night, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if I was the people there, I'd be like, you just ruined the night because now nobody's going to talk about everybody else's awards. And, and, and nobody, you just, you just messed this up for us. And now we're looked at as, is there going to be any other Blacks doing something crazy? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you about that. We're already looked at like that. We are. Will Smith himself may not have been looked at like that. Nope. We already looked at like that. This doesn't change that. It's and even and even when people say like, oh, you know, like you said, all the other black shows. To me, I don't condone that type of thing happening at not just the Oscars, but I don't condone it happening at the BET Awards, MTV Awards, Source Awards, Bible Awards, whatever award. Because at the end of the day, you're in someone else's house. Respect the house. You're in, we're all gathered together to celebrate things that we put our hard work, blood, sweat, and tears in, and we're being honored. And as a nominee, even if you don't win, you're being honored by people including you in this, no matter what the award show is. I don't care that it's the Oscars. The Oscars doesn't hold that much weight to me like That's some me people that do it's just another shiny trophy that's gonna get dusty on your on your bookshelf in years to come anyway that don't hold that much weight with me but it is an event it is a public event that that your actions can affect other people just like any other event and when you're at an event i always will in my opinion I, I, from that standpoint even if i dislike you even if i want to do something to you out of respect for the event i'm gonna we gonna handle this some other way. We gonna handle this. And I would have respected way. that too. Meet Chris Rock at the parking lot. Give somebody a fair shot. He wasn't gonna punch you back in an environment like that with a whole bunch of other actors that probably would have your back over mine. And See, not like and Martin and, we, and them was there. It's not like they were there this, to help. <laughs> this may sound contradicting of me to say this. After what I literally just said, I respect your house. I respect your event. And if I have a problem with somebody, I'm not going to initiate any physical altercation with them that can mess up your event. But if they initiate physical contact with me, I'm going to have to apologize for messing up your event because <laughs> now, again, I didn't start this. They physically assaulted me and my initial reaction to getting assaulted is to defend myself and retaliate to that. I can't see myself just standing there after you smacked. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You would have went off. We would have went off that stage. We would have been brought. They would have really had to cut that feed. You they know what I'm really saying? Had, there would have been some. Somebody said if he would have went up there trying to slap Martin, it would have been some moving and some shaking. <laughs> but they friends.